hi guys welcome back to accounting solution so in today's video i just want to show you how to prepare such income tax and also trade in other payable please make sure that you watch all this video so that you will understand all the principles that you have to go through and also guys please just help me by subscribing and liking this video so that this channel can grow and i will keep producing more and more videos that is going to help you let's start with our lesson Firstly, let's first go and check our information that we have been given so that we will know what will be required and the information that we have to use. Okay, and let's check. Then they said uh, activity number three, balance sheet with notes and calculation. Then you are provided with the information relating to TikTok LTD. Their financial year ended 80 June 2018. Okay, then a required part. They said you have to complete a balance sheet. Then 3.2 is the one that we are looking for for now. Okay, then they said calculate amount due to or by SARS for income tax 30 June 2018. Okay, then the other one that we are looking for is uh, question 3.3.3. .3 okay, trade and other payable notes. Okay, guys, the reason I skip the other two notes is because I have another video that you can go and check. Where I have been preparing ordinary share capital and retaining innings note. Okay, then let's check our information again. Then they give us uh, the two required that we are going to calculate for the year ended 30 June 2018. Okay, then the information that we have, then they said amount extracted from record on 30 June 2018. After all, adjustment has been taken into account, okay? Then they didn't give us a share capital amount, retaining earnings, income, mortgage loan, debtors control, and so on and so on, okay? As you can check there, guys, SARS income tax, they didn't give us the balance. The reason is because we are looking for that amount, okay? Then let's go to information number B. Then they said a debit balance of SARS income tax on 1 July 2027. This is the beginning of the year. It was 10,800, okay? Then a tax refund received from SARS is uh, 10,800 as well. Then we have a total provisional tax payment. Okay, I'm gonna explain that into detail. Then we also have income tax rate, which is 80%, okay? Then the net profit after tax, then they give us a 604,800, okay? The reason why they give us the net profit after tax is because, guys, remember, they didn't give, give us the amount of income tax as per income statement. So, we have to calculate according to that 30% that we have been given. Okay, then with this information, guys, we can be able to calculate our income tax payable or receivable. Okay, then now... The easy step that I want us to use, guys, is to use this format. Okay, so this is such income tax a T account. Okay, as you know, income tax T account, guys, is liability. This is a liability account. In other words, you also have to know that on the debit side, it's a decrease. On the credit side, it's increase. In other words, guys, whenever we reduce our debt to SARS, we are going to debit. But if liability goes up or if we owe SARS, we have to indicate on the credit side. Simple as that. For example, any balance that you will be given at the beginning of the year, you will write it on the credit side. Any payment that we are going to make to SARS, we are going to record it on the the debit side because we are reducing what a liability okay now let's go back to the question let's start with the first one they said a debit balance of sales income tax on 1 july 2017 is 10,800 so this 10,800 guys they say is a debit balance so if they said it's a debit balance you have to write it 
if it is under debit balance okay however but if they said it's a credit balance you have to write it on the credit side okay let's start with the balance of ten thousand eight hundred simple as that let's go to the next information again then they said a tax refund received from SARS on 25 July 2013 is amount of 10,800. Now the reason is, do we have to record that 10,800 again? No guys, remember the reason that we have a debit balance is because SARS was owing us as a company. Which means that that amount that they were owing us, they refund it. On the date that we have been given of 25 July 2017. Okay, so no need to, to record that. If we record that amount, guys, we are going to do a double amount, which is very, very incorrect. Okay, then the next one they say a tax provisional tax payment during the year is amount of 212,200. Now, guys, we have made a payment to SARS. Simple means that we reduce what? And I bill it. Okay? We make a payment of 4,212,200. And okay? We call it a bank because it's provisional payment. Provisional payment means that we have paid the certain amount to SARS to reduce what? Our liability that we still go to, to reflect. Okay, let's read the next one. Okay, then they said income tax rate is 30%. Then they didn't give us the amount. Okay, don't worry. It's very simple in, in this case. Because they give us a net profit after tax as per income statement of amount of 640 and 800. Which means that we can be able to do a reverse. Okay, let's do a reverse, guys. Very, very, very simple. Okay, the amount that we have is amount of 604 and 800. This is a profit after tax. Okay, then what we should do, we are looking for the 30%. Out of how many percent? Is it this amount 100%? No, it's not 100%. It's 70% because it's already subtracted tax amount okay what we are looking for we put it on top the 30 and what we have we have 70 okay let's do the calculation and you see it's gonna be how much okay the amount is six four four eight hundred then we multiply by 30 percent 30 over 70 then it's gonna give us amount of 259,200. Okay, the amount of 259,200, guys, simple means that this amount, we are going to record it on the credit side because this amount is going to increase what a liability. Okay, this is income tax expense that we record under income statement. Okay, income tax expense please make sure that you also show this calculation because you are going to in some marks when you show this a uh, calculation 259 200 simple as that guys simple as that okay now let's check do we have any further information and let's go to our table on the table we don't have any information okay Let's scroll down. No any other information, guys. Which means that now in this case, we can be able to calculate whether it's payable or receivable to SAT. Okay? What you have to do, we add both sides and check which side is higher than, than the other side. Okay? This side, of course, is 259. 200 okay of course it's higher than this side because this side is going to give us uh, a 13,000 plus 
10,000 here to 23,000. Okay, we can write it here which means that this side is higher 259 200 then after that which means that we can take this one and subtract these two okay 259 minus the amount of 10,000 we can write then we also subtract the amount of 212 200 Okay, then we left with amount of 36, 200. Okay, this is the balance product, which we have to do at a balance carry down. Okay, so in other words, if the carry down is on the credit side, this is means that this is balance we call it due to SARS we still owe the SARS guys because what we pay is very less with what we we are owing very simple very simple so if you don't understand this notes guys please make sure that you put the comment so that I can explain to you where you get a stack okay don't forget to like this video guys and subscribe because I'm still do, going to do a lot of videos. Okay, let's proceed to the next note. The next note of receivable and payable. Okay, so this amount of 36,200, we are still going to use it. 36,200. Okay. Okay, let me write it somewhere, 36,200, so that I won't forget. Okay, now we are preparing trade and other tables. Okay, it's a note, guys, it's not a T account. Okay. Number one, let's start with simple one, because we already calculated it. Sales. Income tax, okay, which was thirty six thousand two hundred. Okay, we start with this one because we already prepare uh, the amount and we know that it's liability. But if it was a uh, carried down on the debit side, guys, it's fall under trade under receivable. Okay, then let's go to our information now. <laughs> let's start with the table and check any other tables that we have okay we have a um, safe capital which is no retaining income no mortgage loan no debtors control no creditors control yes so creditors control we are going to edit creditors control then the amount that we have is 75,000 okay now let's check the other one we have accrued income. Accrued income simply means that we still owe that income. Is it liability? No, it's not liability. Then let's go to income received in advance. We receive income in advance, but we haven't yet performed what obligation, which means that we still owe our customer. Okay, which means that income received in advance will fall under payable okay then the amount is eight thousand five hundred simple as that guys simple stuff okay then we have a prepaid expense and accrued expense okay prepaid expense guys we paid expense in advance we don't owe anyone but someone owing us which means that is receivable but accrued expense means that we owe which means that it's a liability under payable accrued expense okay then the amount is six thousand one hundred okay then we also have such income tax we wrote it then we have a bank overdraft 
Okay, let's check if we have any other information that we can calculate a bank overdraft. Okay, okay, uh, before I forgot, we also have information number F, E, F, and G. Okay, let's start with them so that we can uh, go back to that one. Okay, then they said a dividend, interim dividend amount paid uh, on 1 December 2017 is 100,000. It's not formed part of this note, but we have final dividends of um, 20 cents per share that has been declared at the end of the year. This simple means that we have shareholders for dividends and you know that shareholders for dividends fall under this note. Okay, let's say shareholders for dividends. Okay, but they give us a 20 cent per share, which means that we still have to do what? To calculate. Okay, let's go and calculate this note. Let's go and calculate. Okay, let's go to information. Then they say TikTok LTD registered with a share capital of 800,000 ordinary share. This is the same as authorized share of 800,000. Okay, then number two, they say 50% of authorized share were in issue. Okay, 50% of 800, guys, is 400,000. Okay. Now we want the balance of the share at the end so that we can multiply it with 20 cent. Okay, then, then they said a hundred thousand share were issued. Hundred thousand share were issued is a plus. Then repurchase of share they said is thirty thousand. Okay, if you add four hundred thousand plus hundred thousand, it will give you five hundred thousand. Then you minus thirty thousand, it will give you. 472,000 share, then you multiply by 20%, okay, or 20 cent, it's still going to give you the same answer, okay, let me do the conclusion, we're going to say the amount, Okay, we're gonna say amount of 470,000 multiplied by 20 cent. Plus 94,000. Okay, let's proceed to the next one. Okay, guys, so the last part that we left with was to calculate the bank overdraft. As you know, that the bank. Overdraft is liability. However, in this case, guys, we won't be able to get the balance of the bank overdraft. The reason is because we have to calculate all the balance sheet so that we can do the balancing figure for this uh, bank overdraft, which uh, for this video, we are not going to cover a balance sheet. However, guys, please make sure that you stay on this channel because more and more videos is going to be uploaded that is going to assist you to write your exam to write your test so let's also share this video guys let's hit 1000 subscriber we are almost there now so thank you for watching guys see you next time